Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of March 1540, Waltham Abbey in Essex became the last abbey to be dissolved by Henry VIII. Henry had visited the abbey a number of times and is known to have stayed there with Queen Anne Boleyn in 1532. However, despite surviving for a number of years, Waltham Abbey eventually succumbed to the dissolution of the monasteries. This caused an economic disaster in the town, which had grown prosperous as a result of pilgrims visiting the abbey. The dissolution of the monasteries saw the more than 850 different religious houses that existed in England at the start of Henry VIII's reign be disbanded and their property seized by the crown. Although only some of these were actual monasteries, England's religious houses together owned between a quarter to a third of all the land in England. Furthermore, many of them were rumoured to tolerate decidedly unmonastic behaviour. Having severed his ties with the Catholic Church as a result of the 1534 Act of Supremacy, Henry was free to deal with religious houses without needing approval from the Pope. Within two years, his ministers began to shut down religious houses on financial grounds, and by 1540, all the abbeys except for Waltham had been closed. Abbot Robert Fuller finally surrendered the abbey and its property on the 23rd of March 1540, and within just a few years, all the buildings except for the parish nave, were demolished or fell into neglect. The dissolution of the monasteries was ultimately completed in less than four years, but it brought Henry significant income, as well as suppressing political opposition from those who might have sided with the Pope. 